Hello my friends, today we're going to learn how to blend multiple images into one image and get results like this. For this image, I shot this flower, this is the flower, and the way I shot it, I used f7.1, 1 100 of a second, I used my 90 millimeter uh, macro lens with the Sony A1. Once I took this photo, I put my camera into manual focus and I got closer and closer to the flower, taking photos along the way. So that was my first photo. Then I got a little bit closer and because it was a manual focus and I did not reacquire focus, I left the focus the way it was here. When I got closer, it got a little bit more blurry and filled the frame a little bit more. Then I got even closer and it filled the frame a little bit more and got more blurry and so on until I filled the frame with the flower and the whole thing was a big blur. Now, how can we use this? Well, I am going to choose my images. I'm gonna choose this one and then this blurry ones. In order to choose multiple images, I will press command while I click, hold down command and click on these images to select them. So I have two, four, six, eight images. With these images selected, I would go to photo edit in, and then open as layer in Photoshop. Now I already did this, so you don't have to wait. Well, first I'll have to show you, I already did some basic editing on this image, just like, you know, the exposure and nothing too fancy, just, you know, lifted the shadows a little bit, get a little bit more contrast and so on. Now that we have the photos in Photoshop, here they are. You can see I started with this image and then added the layers. Now that we have all these images in here as layers, I will click on the first layer, hold shift, click on the last layer, and I'll do command J to duplicate them all. So now with the images selected, I will right click on it and say convert to smart object. So now one set of those images will be converted all into a smart object. These other images, the original images that I had they're still there just in case I need them later. So with this uh, smart object selected with this layer, now I would go to layer, smart object, and then stack mode and median. And now Photoshop is going to do its magic and stack them all and average them all out. And we end up with something like this. I do have a dust spot over here. I'll take care of it in a second. So here's our blended image. Now that we have my, I have my blended image, I will take my um, image with the flower and focus. I'll do Command J to duplicate it. And then I'll bring, I'll bring it back to the top. All right, now with this image in focus selected, I will click option and make a mask. That way it makes a negative mask. And then we'll paint in with a soft white brush where I wanna to be visible. So I'll start with flow 100 and I'll start right in the middle. And then I'll reduce the flow to maybe, let's see. 10% and I keep going around to get a little bit more detail. And uh, X to toggle between the white and black because I went a little bit too far here. So I'm gonna blend that one like that. All right. Now when I'm looking at my image, I don't like this corner has this yellow blob. This one's over here don't have a lot of details. So what I will do, I will take my lasso tool and I am going to select this corner that I do like and go Command J to duplicate it on its own layer. I'll move it to the top and this is my layer. With this layer selected, I'll go Command T to transform it right click right on the image and flip vertically. And now I can move it to the top. And now that I have it to the top, I will create a mask. 
first I have to click OK. Then I will create a mask. B for the brush. Uh, black to hide. And flow, I'll go 100%. And I'll just kind of blend it so you don't see the edges. And we'll just go like that. All right. Now, I really like the right side of the image, but I just have to fix the left side of the image. I will flatten my image. I will right click on a layer and go flatten image and the command J to duplicate it. And now with my lasso tool, I will select the right side of the image, command J to put it on its own layer. Command T to transform it, right click on it and flip it horizontally. And now I can hold shift so it doesn't move up and down and just move it to the left. And accept the transformation. Now I will make a mask and with B for the brush, black color, nice big soft brush, I will just mask just to make it blend nicely. And there we go. And now we have a very symmetrical, very pretty flower. And this is how I would blend eight flower images into one image. And you get this result. And now, of course, I will right click and flatten it again. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing, and I will see you in my next video.